it's January 30th and another snowstorm coming and as you can see it's all packed snow including all the way out here on my street So I've got from there all the way out to the main street, although that's going to be pretty much in the same state of disrepair with the ice and everything as uh, my little street. What happened was I called up the city and I asked them why they're not dropping the plow. So I guess now to stop from breaking so much equipment when it's one inch or less, they just leave it set. So now that means from now on until we get a couple of days of thaw and some good sunshine, there's going to be like one inch of packed snow turning to ice on my street from now on so it makes it a little difficult to get out for the polar bear challenge with them doing that but they were saying that it'll save breaking plow blades so much so it'll save tax money and I'm the one that's paying the tax money so I guess I couldn't really argue with the guy too much since I'm the one paying the taxes but I guess he wouldn't have really uh, listened to my excuse that I'm a member of the polar bear challenge and want to be out riding. Plus do I really want to pay extra taxes too for all the broken equipment just so that I can ride a few more extra times but yep it's looking like uh, less and less chance I'll get my 20 rides in. I'm up to 8 rides and now I got now from now till February 15th which is still enough total days to do it but I don't know. The way this looks not looking really good. But anyway, the Polar Bear Challenge has been taking its toll on motorcycles. I fixed mine. I've had to already do some repairs with it. I had the froze up front end of it and uh, had the uh, front brake switch just totally go out. And then who else has had the problems? Well, Navy Thomas has had the biggest problems. But then Keith just recently, too, he had the leak at the bottom of his cylinder. Uh, Crazy D, he had the rear tire problems where he even had to ride home on a flat tire on ice. And then, uh, let's see, Gentleman's 9 with the battery problem. And then Navy Thomas, what can I say about Navy Thomas and his problems with the BMW? I actually went on to the BMW uh, Facebook page and left a little comment too about my lack of confidence in BMW service. Now I guess they're replacing two of the camshafts that are rusty in his bike besides the continual problem with the valve cover, the nylon plastic valve cover leaking. As far as for me, half of what buying a motorcycle is all about is not just picking the bike you like, but uh, picking a, a bike to where you're going to be able to have good customer service for your bike too because if you have some kind of troubles with it, you want the company to stand behind it. And uh, As far as with Tom and BMW, BMW... My confidence is zero in them. I I don't think I would, at this point, really, even if they gave me a bike for free, it wouldn't be, uh, I'd probably try to get rid of it or sell it as much as possible because if it had some kind of difficult problem to deal with, I don't want them to just keep patching it and throwing it back to me. So, yeah, BMW is off my list of uh, possibilities. and uh, used to be one of the really good classic motorcycles. In fact, it was one of the very first ones that started with motorcycles. But anyway, yeah. Next snowstorm coming, and uh, so I'll just probably for the next day or two be holed up inside again, waiting for it to stop.